when anything sets me off, just anything. I just see those David Walliams books. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> you know those kids' books, is it? Oh, gee. I've gone on strike in my house. I refuse to read them to my kids. So I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. My wife says it's a, because I'm a bitter, twisted, jealous, pathetic husk of a man. <laughs> He's lost all creative spark and is quite happy to bide away his career taking easy cash on panel shows. Because <laughs> we're quite honest with each other, you know. <laughs> then I just point out one of her nipples goes off to the left and I win. <laughs> but no, there's a reason. There's a reason I don't like them. There's a reason I don't like his books. Because there's a lot of fart gags in his books. A lot of fart gags in his books. And the best thing about a fart gag is the noise, isn't it? You know, the sound of a... You don't want to be reading the sound of a fart. Yeah. But also, we already do those jokes at home. They're the easiest jokes to do with your kids, you know? Oh, who farted, who smelt it, dealt it, oh, that was a... St They're one of the few things that break up the tedious, grinding, repetitive monotony of domestic family life. <laughs> the endless repetition of task after task after task. Load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher, load the dishwasher, unload the dishwasher. Cook the food, put the food on the plates, put the plates on the table. Get them to eat the food, they don't eat the food. Scrape the food away. Load the dishwasher again. <laughs> Would somebody please just fart? <laughs> <laughs> but also, I think... <laughs> I think you should offer kids something a bit more imaginative, you know? There's no fart gags in Treasure Island, is there? <laughs> is there? There's not a bit where Long John Silver lifts up his wooden leg. <laughs> we can't do it the other way, can he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, perfect place for a fart gag. Not a sniff. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, both sets of grandparents, share a double bed. <laughs> and live off cabbage soup. <laughs> in the wrong hands... In the wrong hands, that book would be packed with fart gags from beginning to end. It would just be... <laughs> there'd be no Oompa Loompas, there'd be no magic lift at the end, it'd just be... <laughs> yeah, I think I'm right. Hmm? As you did that with other classics of children's literature, like... Oh, ooh, sorry about that, said Heidi. <laughs> As she brought the goats in from the field. <laughs> My cheesy grunt seems to have tainted <laughs> the alpine freshness of the morning. <laughs> Pull my finger, said Noddy. <laughs> Better out than in, shrieked Tinkerbell. <laughs> as she flitted across the London rooftops, sprinkling fairy dust and a faint whiff of shit. <laughs> Won't go in that wardrobe for ten minutes. said Aslan. <laughs> Kill a witch, that would. <laughs> so my wife said to me, she said, she, she said, if you think it's so easy, why don't you write one? Why don't you, why don't you write a book? I said, well, piece of piss. <laughs> Any idiot could write a kid's book. It's easy. They're fucking idiots. <laughs> I said, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you how easy it is. I'll write one quicker than they can read it. That's how easy it is. I'll write a book faster than a child could read it. So I gave myself an hour, right? I went off for an hour, right? I didn't write one, I wrote three <coughs> in an hour. Three kids' books. First one, right, I thought we got Postman Pat, Fireman Sam, Bob the Builder, time for a prison guard. <laughs> I thought we could teach kids about the consequences of their actions. So I created Cyril the Screw. <laughs> he drives the van from, uh, from court to jail, you know, tries to <laughs> yeah. And uh, 
His best friend isn't a cat, like Postman Pat, it's a spider that goes around and listens to the recriminations of the recently convicted prisoners. <laughs> so they're in the, in the back going, oh, must stop being so naughty. <laughs> this is a kid's book, there's no swearing, obviously. Oh, oh, foiled again. <laughs> Blooming DNA. <laughs> And, uh, and he has adventures. He has adventures, like one day he's driving off to jail and he noticed that Mrs Boggins, the postmistress, has broken down. So he pulls her over to help her. But it's not Mrs Boggins, is it? She's tied up in the boot. <laughs> it's one of the gang with a wig on. <laughs> and he punches Cyril and he lands upside down in a blackberry bush, his little leg sticking out the top. <laughs> And they drive off, but the spider goes into the sat-nav, rewires it, and it goes to jail anyway. So, you know. That was, I mean, think of the merchandise on that alone. So that's book one. Second book I wrote, it's called Gout Boy, right? It's about this boy, he's got terrible gout. Oh, shocking gout, because his mum drunk quite a lot during pregnancy. But she's a solicitor. It's middle-class drinking, so nobody comments, you know? <laughs> also, he's got a long, flat head, right? Because he was born on a dance floor during a Chumba Wumba medley. <laughs> anyway, one day he goes to the hospital for some tests, right? Turns out... <laughs> turns out... <laughs> I shouldn't be the only one laughing, should I? That's not good. <laughs> goes to the hospital for some tests. Turns out he hasn't got gout at all, no. He's got a very rare disease, very, very rare disease. He's got, you know that Benjamin Button syndrome? You remember the, you remember the Benjamin Button film, you know, where he's born as an old man and then he get, turns into a baby, gets older and older, turns into a baby. He's got that, but it just affects his legs. <laughs> he's got, basically, he's got lower Benjamin Button syndrome. He's got, he's got LBB, he's not full blown, he hasn't got, he hasn't got FBBBS, <laughs> full-blown Benjamin Button syndrome. It's just, so he's, he's like a baby from here, and he's got old man's legs, like varicose veins, knobbly knees, you know, ingrained toenails. <laughs> but as he gets older, his legs get younger and younger and younger. You know that? <laughs> When he dies, he's got little puffy baby feet. 